Hey, what's up guys? Johnny here back with a brand new Call of Duty Mobile video. Season two is here, guys. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be today or tomorrow. So I just got into the game, got a cool animation, and season two is live. So we're gonna check it out, guys. We're gonna check out the challenges for the season, and we're gonna check out the battle pass. Definitely gonna buy it. So let's see what's the tier 100 rewards this time. All right, so season two hero is Alex Mason, confirmed. It was rumored, it's been leaked, we did see uh, some screenshots of the actual character skin so it is confirmed right now and you see the whole alaska set it was previewed on one of my videos like yesterday i think so let's go guys check it out season two rewards what what is this guy man i don't know but we see the the weapons right here on the crate it's the glacier skins and we saw some of these apparently we're gonna get some we're gonna get the ak-47 on tier 10 if you buy the premium pass tier 25 we get the rune jade it's gonna be a free skin guys wow it looks epic and tier i see 60 we're gonna get the arctic 50 glacier so two free glacier skins well it's not free but it's on the the season pass and a character skin awesome guys i'm really hot m4 cqb will be for reaching tier 100 and you will get that one also so it doesn't say if it's on the free to play or the premium pass but we'll see so here they show you all you get for buying the premium pass at tier one you're gonna get grenade the knife the weapon here is a uh, xpr 50 and of course the epic alex mason skin now you see on the top row the free to play battle pass has some blue crates again but this time it's that one with the police officer a lot of comments on my police video said it was fake but apparently guys it is not fake it's really gonna happen so this guy is the season two terence brooks it's gonna be super rare super hard to find you're gonna need like a hundred crates uh, or a bit of luck. I know some guys get them on their first opening or their third crate, but you're gonna need some luck, guys. Even like I just got Terrence Brooks like two days before the end of the season, and I think it's gone now. Now, let's see what we got on the purple crates this time on the premium pass. You got two epic skins. Guys, I didn't get lucky on season one, I got zero red action skin. I didn't get the BY15. I didn't get the sniper so hopefully i can get some luck there's a lk24 cqb and the next one is a chicom cqb so seriously chicom not my favorite weapon uh the rest of the stuff is gonna be some J jack frost camos asm ak-47 so honestly i'm not really hyped for the the purple crates and the only one item i want in the purple crate will be the lk24 I already said in the past I'm not a big fan of Christmas skins because it's only cool for Christmas and you don't use them after. Now you see at tier 10 the AK-47 Glacier. I really love this set guys. I cannot wait to see what it looks like in the game. Then at level 25 you get a second purple skin. So this time you got two purple skins on the season pass. This one is pretty epic. It looks better than what I saw on the preview. Wow, guys, on the free-to-play pass at tier 30, you get the UL736 Aurora Borealis. This skin also is really nice. And you guys know the UL736 is actually a really good weapon uh, if you play non-ranked. It's really accurate. It's got tons of ammo. So if you guys want to go for some nukes, uh, this is a great weapon. Tier 36, you get a Flashbang Glacier skin. Then you get the whole Alaska set. Just checking what it looks like. But well, it looks like there's a bear on the parachute. Um, so yeah, you can get the full set here and there on the battle pass. Beautiful Aurora knife on the free-to-play battle pass. So you actually got a few very cool items on the free-to-play battle pass, guys. Now see, that's what I'm talking about. Some of these items I really don't like. I'm not a fan of that. Uh, it's funny, but nobody's gonna use that. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't use it for for real I, I don't like these Christmas skins not that I don't like funny stuff though I like the melon skins for the weapons. It's just I, I don't know. I don't like these guys super cool backpack to go with the weapons on tier 90 It's a bit late and check it out this is the final reward at tier 100 m4 cqb m4 aurora borealis it's looking really nice i really like that set guys and then after that it's gonna be all purple crates so once again first impression on the season 2 battle pass 
I love the weapon set. I love the whole set of skins, Aurora Borealis. It's really cool. The CQB set is nice. It's just the, the weapon selection is not super good. Uh, M4, I don't like that much. The Chicom on the crates is really horrible. Um, yeah, I think the purple crate is pretty bad. But the rest, I mean, two character skins on the premium pass definitely worth the money. I didn't count how many credits or card points they're giving you back this time. But on season one, they gave you all your credits back. So you pay 800 credits for the pass, they give you your 800 credits back. So I didn't count, guys. You let me know in the comments, but I'm pretty sure they're going to do the same thing. So you buy a season pass once and you can always buy the next one for free because unless you spend your credits, they're just giving you back all the credits. So I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's going to be 800 again. Now let's check out the challenges, guys, for the premium pass because now we have zombies. So we only have three challenges, earn points, kill zombies, and play 60 matches of zombies. So that's going to give you uh, a few tiers here. Battle Royale, there seem to be a couple challenges also. It's uh, 300 points each. So play 25 Battle Royale, kill 100 enemies, survive, uh, get some top fives, and use airdrops 50 times. Wow, so people will be chasing airdrops early this season. It's going to be interesting. Not a lot of challenges for Battle Royale. Uh, then multiplayer. I don't know if we have rank challenges, but kill enemies, kill enemies, kill enemies. Play with friends, use operators. So this is something you don't have to go for. It's just going to happen. Okay, we got to play 40 rank games and then um, kill a thousand enemies in rank multiplayer that's gonna be a grind if you don't play a lot of rank match uh and then win 60 multiplayer games so it's not looking too bad guys i'm gonna buy the premium pass right now we're gonna check out the rewards and then we're gonna check out if we have extra challenges for premium pass but i'm pretty sure it's all that there there is oh here we go hey i don't know why i got a chicom headless rider i didn't see it in the rewards uh and once again I'm not a fan of the Chicom, but I'm a fan of the Headless Rider skin. This is really nice, but I'm not going to use it, guys. Maybe in Battle Royale, but even then, I heard it got a buff, but I don't like it. I really don't like it. All right, apparently, there was a first purchase event for Season 2. I didn't know that, but okay. I, I bought some points to buy my Season Pass. Now, once again, guys, I get a lot of questions. What's the difference between Premium Pass and Premium Pass Plus? The only difference is you pay more, but you're going to start on tier 25. So you're just going to get to the end faster, uh, but it's you, it's not necessary. You don't need that. You can just buy the 800 card points premium pass and you're going to get the same thing. You don't get extra rewards. You just get them earlier. So let's go for the 800 card points battle pass. And here we go, guys. It's Alex Mason unlocked uh, haircut looking weird, but I like it, man. I really, really like the, the new skin. So I cannot wait to get Dempsey though in the zombie mode. All right, what we got here are the XPR 50 Alaska. Again, uh, I don't use that sniper much. Next, we got a brand new knife, Alaska knife, looking okay. The Alaska set is pretty nice for real. And then the grenade is a sticky grenade. And that's it for the base rewards. Now checking the challenges again, so you don't get extra challenges on the seasonal challenges, but you'll get the gold challenges when you go and check your daily and weekly challenges. So the gray daily and weekly challenges are the free to play ones, but the gold challenges you can only have if you get the premium pass. So you get extra challenges, so it's easier to get more tiers. But if you're free to play, you can reach uh, tier 100. I saw some guys on Reddit achieving it without spending one dollar so you can get all the rewards without money but yeah being premium pass is gonna make things easier for sure so guys i guess it is time to go and start grinding these challenges and reach tier 100 once again in season two try to get all the rewards i did check real quick battle royale the new season's not started yet so we cannot see the rewards but i'm really excited also for that one cannot wait to see what we get for ranking up on Battle Royale and Rank Multiplayer next season. I know usually the rewards are really cool. Expect another character skin for free this time. Uh, expect some cool weapon skins usually. So that's gonna be it. Let me know in the comments, guys, what are you going for first? Are you gonna grind 
the battle royale challenges the zombies the multiplayer i want to hear from you that's it for me guys thank you for watching hope you enjoyed the video hit the like and tell me in the comments what's your favorite rewards this season i'll see you guys soon till then watch my other videos take care